here at the MZN told me that they show movies here every night. And on top of that, they host about 1,100 events here a year. Since the mid-80s, the Enzion has been proud of the vibe. You can come in here, sit in comfortable seating, have a nice meal, and watch a major motion picture. I am Marcus Mahone, chef here at Enzion Theater. Uh, Enzion is a place for families, I'd say. Pretty much you show up with your family, we take care of everything else. We do all kind of events. We do kids events, we do adult events, we do New Year's, Halloween, pretty much anything that you think adults can come to and have fun responsibly. We may do. It's one of my favorite places on the planet to this day. But when I first moved to Orlando from upstate New York, I didn't know much about the local culture. All you hear about is like Disney and, and all the chain restaurants and strip malls. Enzian kind of became like an oasis even before I worked there. Just a really funky place, like totally unique to that area. <laughs> I've seen some instances not here, but at home, that has changed my thinking. I'm at home, no one's there, and I know no one's there. My dog or cat, no one. And I'm in the bed laying down, and I can feel something kind of felt like it was trying to get in the bed with me. I thought it was maybe the cat. Look up, and there's nothing there. Um, so I was sitting out on my porch, just having a beer or whatever, hanging with my dog, and I heard a big crash in the house. And I have a big, just one of those big standard IKEA bookshelves that everybody mm -hmm. has, all my cookbooks are on it. And I go in and all the books from the top two shelves were in a pile in the floor. And there's literally no explanation for how they could have all fallen off at once. I was home alone, there was nobody in the house. The shelf was still completely stable and level, you know. One day my wife and I were sitting in our living room and we had just gotten two new phones and she's just taking pictures, you know what I mean? Um, and she took one picture. A few minutes later, she screams. I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? And she goes back through the pictures and she shows me a picture of the TV, but of a gentleman in the shot which kind of freaked us out. But what further freaked us out was the neighbor across the street knew who the gentleman was. That, that kind of opened my eyes. I mean, that I could not explain how she knew who that gentleman was and how he ended up on my wife's camera in the house. It didn't make any sense to me. There are some things that go unexplained sometimes. I mean, um, things flying off the shelf that shouldn't. I mean, I don't think inanimate objects can grow legs and just walk. So <laughs> there's some room there for uh, interpretation, however you want to see it. <laughs> Another coworker and I were working one night and we we're about to close. I know it's only he and I in the kitchen. Next thing I know, my pot falls off the shelf, which makes no sense. It's been there all day. I mean, unless we wanted to take a 20 minute break after 13 hours of sitting there, I mean, Something had to happen and it just flew off the shelf. Other times we had um, uh, spices that were on a rack that just decided to leap off the shelf. And I mean, I'm not sure what, <laughs> what was going on, but it wasn't a wind that pushed it off and it just happened to fall off the shelf. So something had to do it. I've had stories of where a young lady that worked there a while back, she came in, she saw a couple orbs or something that she tried to explain. Um, the only thing I've ever seen was stuff flying off the shelf, which, I mean, I think logically, and those things didn't logically make sense to me at all. There's a long closet. We would use it for uh, extra storage. And I would be there a lot late night. You know, if there was a special event, I'd be the only one there. And this was, I couldn't tell you when, probably a few years after I started there. All the lights were off in the theater, but I knew my way around. And I, I went back to the closet because I had to get like some catering equipment or something. And I was all the way back to the far away from the entrance, you know, at the far end of this long, narrow closet. I'm kind of like down on my knees, like reaching for something that I could barely reach back there. I hear a big, uh, like something fell off the shelf, like a big box that had like old menus in it or something. 
in doing so as it fell is the only thing that I can imagine is it hit the light switch that was right inside the door and the lights went out literally 100% pitch dark. I was kind of freaked out. This like weird feeling came over me. So I'm feeling my way against the wall and I get all the way back there and, and turn the light on. You know, again, no explanation for how that box could have fell and where it landed. It didn't even uh, look as though it could have hit the light switch, but that's the only logical explanation I have for it. With that same area in that closet back there, there was one night it was me and two other servers and they were back there kind of doing the same thing just getting stuff out of that closet and i was in the kitchen finishing up we were the last three people in the building it was late at night and all of a sudden i heard like a shriek like absolute scream and they came running into the kitchen like completely out of breath from that room they needed to go get the rest of what they were getting and they're like i don't know what the fuck just happened in there we are not going back in there there's no way they were messing with me or making it up it would have been way too elaborate of a prank but they said they saw some sort of light floating across the room and, and heard a noise and felt like a like a breeze come over them. Sounds far-fetched, but I'm just simply retelling my observation of that experience. And they came back in absolutely terrified.